Hey, it's Chris Coff, and we're in downtown Crested Butte, and what a beautiful day. I'm here with Heidi Sherratt, and she's the executive director of Cattlemen's Days and Tough Enough to Wear Pink. Wow. Thank you, Chris. Well, if anybody doesn't know about Cattlemen's Days and Tough Enough to Wear Pink, you're in for a treat. Um, not only is it one of the most fun times in the Valley, but it's for a great cause. And we have a lot of really exciting events coming up to talk about, um, but most importantly is what we're giving back to the community. Tough Enough to Wear Pink has been in this valley for 18 years, and it is helping to fund people that are diagnosed with any type of cancer. We started out as a breast cancer specific organization, but we've really expanded now to all cancers. And we've expanded our programs and our support in so many ways. One of the biggest things we're doing is helping our local hospital with um, top of the line uh, equipment um, for mammogram screenings, ultrasounds, MRIs. We just purchased a new machine that's just under $300,000 for the hospital wow. that's coming actually this month. And it's called the ABUS and it's a new screening tool that is being recommended um, in addition to your mammogram. So that's a really exciting news um, for our valley. And we're, we work hard to um, do prevention, detection, and taking care of people if they are diagnosed um, through lots of different programs, transportation, lodging, um, financial assistance, um, helping people with um, their wellness, their well-being, mental and physical, while going through cancer. So it's a pretty extensive organization. We're yeah. doing a lot of things. Um, so everything is on our website and I'm always available to talk to if anybody has any questions about what we're doing here. Well, I know you have a lot of activities and, and you know, I'm super excited because you do some really cool, fun activities and it raises a lot of money for all the causes that you just mentioned, which is really cool. Tell us about what's happening this summer that people should know about and how can they, um, you know, be aware of what it is that, you know, these activities and events are this summer. So the summer is our prime time and it's our biggest fundraising um, time of the year and it's all s sort of around the rodeo, the Tough Enough to Wear Pink Rodeo where this all started. Um, so we kick off um, with the 4th of July down at the Ibar Ranch and we call it Pinkapalooza. This is our third year doing that event and it's a ton of fun. Not only is it the best place to see live fireworks in the valley, but we have a huge group of musicians coming to entertain you so you're in for a treat. Um, the Ibar is just a funky great place to be. Um, they have a big bonfire and it's just a good time. Um, so we've got Chansey Williams as our headliner. Um, if you haven't heard Chansey, he's an incredible upbeat uh, country uh, band. Um, his, he has an amazing fiddle player. You cannot help but dance. I mean he, his music's just contagious. Um, to open for him, we have Ward Davis, who is one of my most favorite songwriters. Um, and we have some people to kick off the night that are going to be at our songwriter shuffle, who um, are a whole nother group of songwriters who are coming for the July 6th event, which is the songwriter shuffle. Um, it's another incredible event. That's our biggest fundraising event. We do, um, we do it at the Double Top Ranch out Cement Creek. Um, it's a beautiful venue. Um, and we have a bunch of different amazing chefs from the valley coming and so it's delicious food and then great music so if anyone's interested in coming to that event you can buy individual tickets but you also can be a sponsor and thank you Chris for being a sponsor this year um, so there's a lot of different op options there um, again everything's on our website or you can always call me well, very good and was there something also you have the 4th 5th and 6th of July right so the July 5th is, is a really special evening for our biggest sponsors and it's an acoustic concert with the songwriters and a four, um, four course meal um, that is being hosted by the Walter Group at the Almont Resort this year, which we're very grateful for. Um, and then on July 6th is Songwriter Shuffle and then the following week is the Tough Enough to Wear Pink Rodeo. And that's a PRCA rodeo. There's actually three nights of rodeo. The Thursday night rodeo is the pink rodeo. Yep. And we are the number one Tough Enough to Wear Pink fundraiser in the United States. So it's a really great way to celebrate what this valley is doing and how supportive people are here. Um, it's a great rodeo. If you can't be there Thursday, be there Friday or Saturday. All three nights are phenomenal. Of course, my favorite night's Thursday, but um, 
they're you're in for a treat it's a it's a it's a it's a really well done rodeo in a small town um and so come on down and, and you can get tickets also for that on our website well very good well heidi i just want to say thank you so much for all that you do and cattleman stays does and tough enough to wear pink does for this this community and people that are you know, uh, dealing with some, some challenging times in their life with cancer. And you have uh, been involved for a very long time and really uh, want everybody to, to be a supporter and figure out how you can play your part. And um, any final words? I just, you know, I'm always overwhelmed with gratitude for this valley. Um, everybody in this valley, the full-time locals, the part-time locals, the, the visitors here, um, we just have so much tremendous support and it's it's a really beautiful group of people that come together and we really hope that you'll join us this year at one of our events or all of our events hopefully and just become a part of it very good all right well hopefully we'll see you this summer have an awesome day